We do know two COVID-19 vaccines are on the verge of FDA approval. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis announced Tampa General Hospital will be one of five hospitals in the state to receive those first doses of the vaccine. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King takes a closer look into today's announcement and what this means for the Bay Area. So far, no COVID-19 vaccine has gotten the green light approval from the FDA, but both Pfizer and Moderna are among the first companies to announce their vaccine is 95% effective and FDA approval could come within days. The announcement coming this afternoon, the Tampa General Hospital will be among the five Florida hospitals to receive and store those first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. The governor's office making that announcement saying these five Florida hospitals could receive the vaccines within the next three to six weeks. Both Pfizer and Moderna have doses prepared and ready to ship within hours following FDA approval. Pfizer saying they'll apply for that in the next few days. The federal government estimating there could be 40 million COVID-19 vaccine doses in the United States by the end of December. Because both vaccines require two doses, this would mean 20 million Americans could receive it by the end of the year. Physicians at Tampa General Hospital were unavailable to answer our questions today, but they say they're working to get more information on exactly how many doses they'll get. They also say they'll likely go to frontline and essential workers first. Governor Ron DeSantis, who was also unavailable for questions, provided us with this pre-recorded video message. Our goal is to make all safe and effective COVID vaccines available to Floridians who want them, but the state will not mandate that Floridians take these vaccines. That's going to be the choice of each and every Floridian. The governor adding that both CVS and Walgreens will also receive vaccines shortly after FDA approval, and they'll work with long-term care facilities to distribute them to residents. We know you still have questions about the distribution of this vaccine, and we do too. We're working to get those answers from the governor's office and from physicians here at TGH. We're working to track down that information, and we'll share it with you as soon as we get it. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.